Our recipe today is msakhan. It is jaj bin sama, chicken with summa and onions with crispy filo. Let's go and see how we can make this wonderful recipe. I have taken this recipe and elevated it to be lighter, healthier, and more appealing. Our recipe is light on oil, crunchy, and delicious. Look at that. Look how moist from the inside and very crispy and crunchy. Let's dive into that and enjoy it. Bon appetit, Kalima Sorexi. Mmm, so crunchy. Amazing. Or you could do it with some cheese, melting the light on top of that. Zakhan, look at that. It's amazing. You could pick and choose. I've shown you both ways. Kalioxi. Bon appetit. Let's have a look at the maison plus of this unique Middle Eastern recipe. One and a half kilogram of chicken. I prefer you have the thighs, the drums. I'm going to use the Greek filo. That's going to be lighter, crunchier. To boil our chicken, we need a couple of bay leaves, black pepper, salt, and a bit of cinnamon. One and a half kilogram of onions that we have cut in rings like that. We need to that about a hundred grams of summa. You need a lot of it. And about 50 to 70 milliliter of Greek olive oil. Three to four lemons. You need about 10 cloves of garlic, a grated cheese. This is going to give it a twist, a stretch, a beautiful, delicious taste. That's going to balance the summa and is going to go very well with the garlic. Let's go. Into a large pot, we're going to add about two and a half liter of water, our chicken, and we're going to totally cook until they're soft and moist. Off we go on medium to high heat. Onto our non-stick pan, we add our olive oil, and onto that we're going to start sauteing, first of all, our garlic. Off we go. A couple of minutes after, just before we start changing color, we're going to add our onions. Off we go. We give a good mix, we lower the heat onto medium, and we're going to saute for about good 15 minutes. Off we go. See that our onions are a bit uh, softer, caramelized. What we're going to do, we will add our summa now, all of it. We're going to give a good mix. Off we go. And we're going to add our lemon juice. 45 minutes into boiling, our chicken is very well cooked. Now that our chicken is ready, cleaned like that, in small pieces like this, our onions are ready. In our baking tray, we're going to mix the chicken and the onions and distribute properly throughout the tray. Once they're well mixed, we're going to cut our filo dough with a sharp knife about one and a half centimeter rings like that. We're only having 250 grams of filo dough. We're going to oil it with Greek olive oil, then we're going to mix it with the chicken and the onions. About 30 to 40 milliliter of Greek olive oil and we're going to mix by hand very well. Then we're going to take bits of this and we're going to plant it within the chicken and the onions, like that. With the help of a fork, you make space and then you plant the filo. You see that? The filo is tucked within the chicken and the onions, but it is not submerged totally. You need it to be exposed like this. It gets a bit crunchy and not soggy. You see that? It's very important. It's just a bit of it is under the chicken and the onions. Now I'm going to sprinkle all of this with some Greek olive oil and we're going to bake at 185 to 90 for about 45 minutes or so. It smells amazing. 45 minutes into baking, our platter is ready, crunchy and crispy. We take out and we serve. Our meal is ready, let's serve and enjoy.